David Schmidt from Adobe, uh, product uh, marketing for the Flash platform. And I want to show you a couple of uh, two announcements we had here uh, at Google I.O. today. We're announcing the public beta for Flash Player for Android, for devices running the Froyo uh, operating system, which is soon to be forthcoming from Google, um, and also the Air for Android developer beta for, uh, that's become available today. So our, I have here a Nexus One uh, running a pre-release version of Android 2.2, a.k.a. Froyo. And I've got uh, some Flash content here that I can show you in the browser. This is a Sony Pictures site. Um, that uh, has movie trailers with uh, that uses a flash video player. Let's see if we can uh, get this to run here. So the nice thing about this site, you can see it's a video player that's been mobile optimized with nice big full screen buttons that you can use nicely on a touch screen. So that's an example of some flash video running in the browser. We can also see if we can show you some uh, game examples. Congregate is a popular uh, Flash gaming site. And here's a game called Pinch Hitter. Just loading here. And the nice thing about this game is it goes full screen when you, when you activate it. Now we can play, and it's a, you can see it's a very touch-friendly, simple, fun game, and the performance is great. Let's try one more pitch. Oops! Let's see. To also show you um, kind of just the full web, let's try something. This might take some time to load with our slow... Um, Slow connection, but let's try the BBC. I'm going to zoom in here and go to video and audio. This is the BBC's desktop site. It has been optimized for mobile. It's um, basically this, what you expect to see on the desktop when you surf to the BBC uh, kind of multimedia page. And it's buffering a video here for Flash. Once that runs, we could uh, make it larger as well. So there you have flash, vi fl flash video running in the context of a page, just like you'd expect. We can zoom in. Quality is quite good. So that's an example of um, kind of Flash and Froyo bringing the full web to your phone. The other thing I wanted to show you was uh, Air for Android. As you can see up on adobelabs.com, uh, you can find information about uh, the Flash Player beta and the Air for Android developer beta. And you can sign up for the Air beta here. I'm going to plug this phone in. I'm going to show you something real quick. Here's a, uh, a Flash application that we created in a few lines of code earlier today. That simply just lets you move a, move a um, ball around. So this is an Air standalone Flash application running uh, as an Android app. If I go up here to our tooling, Flash Professional CS5, we also released today a free extension to Flash CS5 that allows publishing for Air to Android. And let me go here and make a simple change, like changing the color of this ball, and now I'm going to publish it, and it's going to create an, uh, an air file and then package it as an Android APK file. APK file has been created, and it pushed it right to the phone, and you can see now it's the red color. I just made a simple one-click programming change and one-click to publish. Um, so obviously this is a super simple app, but developers are already making uh, games and all kinds of productivity apps. Um, so that's a little bit of what we're uh, showing today at uh, Google I.O.